Good evening. It's Tuesday, August 6th, and you're looking at a live view of the Falcon 9 rocket as it awaits at 7.23 p.m. Eastern Time launch from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, Florida. Welcome to the webcast for the AMOS 17 mission, SpaceX's 10th launch of 2019. We'd like to extend a particularly warm welcome to Spacecom CEO David Pollack and the nearly 200 Spacecom guests who have traveled from across the globe to watch today's launch from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. On today's mission, we will be flying Spacecom's AMOS 17, a geostationary communications satellite which will provide internet, phone, and secure communications to customers in the Middle East, Africa, and Europe. This will be the third and final flight for this booster, which previously flew on the SHL-2 mission last November and on Telstar 19V just over a year ago. We will not be recovering the first stage following today's mission. As we mentioned earlier, tonight's mission is for Spacecom, a satellite operator headquartered in Israel. Today we're launching AMOS-17. AMOS stands for African Mediterranean Orbital Satellite, and the 17 is for 17 degrees east longitude location of the satellite. Built by Boeing, it'll be the most advanced high-throughput satellite providing communication services to Africa and have a life expectancy of over 20 years. T-minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Lift off. Supersonic. Coming up on one minute into flight, we're getting ready for maximum dynamic pressure. Vehicle has reached maximum aerodynamic pressure. You've heard the call out. We're through the region of maximum aerodynamic pressure.